Happy Halloween, YouTube. Well, today we're going to kind of skip. We Our videos lay back about a week. So, but today we're going to do a special Halloween edition. And it's just from today. Uh, it is October 31st, 2017. And we're at a free campsite in the middle of Florida. I'm just going to tell you that. And it's beautiful. But we're going to take you over here and let's have a little chat by the uh, the bat house or the bat cave. Yes, we didn't actually do that intentionally, but it just so happened that the campsite we chose to be at on Halloween has a bat house. So that is pretty cool. And we thought we would just show you that footage. Come on, let's uh, check it out. Got some new additions to the van there, but you'll see that stuff coming up in an upcoming video. That's camp. Not too far down the way here. While the camera's shaking, I'd like to say, uh, if you guys know of a good gimbal for a Galaxy eight samsung galaxy eight plus a good gimbal that i can order on amazon i'm game i just don't know which one to buy guys well a little his little history about this we're at the hickory hammock community bat house and this house here was built by Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, and it can hold up to 40,000 bats at night. Last night we heard them. It was amazing, but there's no bugs here. None. And according to this sign, each one of those bats can eat up to 3,000 insects in one night. And I, I, we've been here two nights now, guys, and... We haven't had any bug problems and we got our netting up and everything, but no bug problems at all. So We're gonna spend the night right here and it's gonna be interesting again. It's been kind of creepy Nobody else is here and Been here all by ourselves. This is like day three. So let's go sit over here by the uh, bad house and Let's have a little chat Let's get a little closer guys I have it gated off, but it's kind of how it works, guys. The bats, they'll come in and they'll fly in from below and fly up to the top. 40,000 bats can fit in there. It's pretty cool. So today we're going to do a Halloween Q&A. Well, we've had a lot of questions and we want to get to all of them, but... Seems like we're always traveling, so today I thought we would answer a couple of the questions that we get the most. One of which is, how in the world do you guys make money and afford to travel? And that we're so young. Well, uh, I'm not as young as most people think I am, but we're both full-time college students, and for that, we basically we get a little housing money and that's about it but uh I, I also have a waitressing gig that's close to school so that's just easy um cash money right there and she does that about three days a week um and we kind of move that around so that she's there on the weekends and and that works uh while she's at work i do some uh, internet consulting work and that brings in a little bit of money and Really, guys, our expenses are very low. Um, all we really have for expenses 
is the van payment, the oh. van insurance, our cell phones and our and our internet on the van has its own internet, and we have an Anytime Fitness membership along with the storage. Um, and of course, you have gas and food and, and things like the that, essentials, the yeah. essentials that you need, but we really don't have a large budget and we like to make up enough money at, uh, and kind of save it and then we'll gradually spend it. Uh, we'll get a little bit of money up and then we'll make some improvements to the van and that's where the money goes to. So that's our house that's you know so we slowly are improving the van one yeah. little piece at a time so working on, wonderful. working on wonderful that's about right well i hope that kind of explains that and let's go on to question number two question number two how is the ram pro master city holding up for us well we got it with about 18 about sixteen thousand miles on it and it has about 40,200 miles on it now. It's a 2016. And to be honest, guys, we uh, do the oil, the synthetic. Every 4,000 miles, I've been pretty good at doing the oil. It says you can go up some crazy number. They keep putting 5,000 on the sticker, but at 4,000, I just change it. And the only problem that we've had is at about 28,000 miles I would I would contribute this to maybe because I idle it a lot uh, we idle this van a lot in the Florida heat and it gets really hot guys so that's how we run our AC until I can find another way of putting a rooftop with a little bit more solar and make that happen but till then we just run the car run the van and we have a AC tube to the back and unfortunately by 28,000 miles the radiator fan went out but it was under warranty yeah the only thing about that was it was really annoying because when we took it into the shop and we told them we needed a radiator fan they were like that's on back order of 900 people and you won't be able to get it in for like a couple of months so that was annoying yeah but then we called around and Luckily, her mom works for a Ram dealership and pulled a couple strings. And next thing you know, we had one, had it put in. We were down AC. We couldn't drive the van very far for about a week or two. So, but in one day they had us fixed. Really, that's the only problem we've had, guys. Um, at that time, they did replace the battery just because... Kind of, going kind of going a little low and he's like with all your setup here we just put you a brand spanking new battery in which was great under warranty but yeah besides that guys i give the ram pro master a thumbs up i mean it's been great for us for the price we paid sixteen thousand five hundred dollars for this van and it's been well worth it so i hope that answers your question if you have any more questions i know uh, we're getting ready to do a whole video on how we met and all of that so that'll be its own separate video but if you have more questions please leave them below in the comments section and we'd be more than happy to, to answer them all right well we hope you enjoyed this video well like subscribe and comment below if you have more questions we be more than happy to answer them and you just might see it in a video thanks a lot guys have a good night. Happy Halloween. Yay. Be safe out here. <laughs>